So um, we're gonna use the gi now to make this like, a, if you can get this grip on somebody's elbow, it's gonna make it near impossible for them to stop. So the way I do this is I just pull their, the tail of their gi out, right? And I'm gonna feed it into my hand, I'm gonna go behind their elbow with it, okay? So you pull the gi out, throw it out, and then I reach over, and I'm gonna trap his arm between the gi and my wrist. And then I get a grip on his wrist, and now you'll see when you get this grip, you can have your partner try to yank their arm out of here, and it's locked in fairly tight. This gives you a lot more, um, it holds them in place easier, which makes it easier for you to move, okay? So you're just basically getting the tail of his gi out around his tricep into your hand, and then make sure that it's tight. You can't be like loose here with a lot of slack. Pull all the slack out, get the grip. It'll make it very easy to move his elbow to the center of your body. Don't pull it further, all right? Then you go across, it's the same basic drill, except sometimes with this grip, you don't even really need to trap his shoulder. I can just turn and bring the leg over and go right to his wrist to finish. All right. So we'll do the same basic idea, except now I grab the gi, go behind his tricep, grab it tight, grab the wrist, pull to the center of your body, make sure you have solid control, and you go through the same steps. Get the other side collar, hold his posture down, climb your legs up, twist, leg comes over, finish. Okay. One, two, three.